Oh wait, can I grab that maybe? Oh yeah. This work? The metal won't hold the acid very long. Oh, so it's not working, I guess. <laughs> Just throw it in there and <laughs> bug it. Oh, well, there's no nothing to use in here, so I gotta go to another room. I guess. Any hidden items? No. I don't see anything else. Nothing up top. Alright, let's get out of here then. Alright, so we gotta come back to that. Like, right now we gotta go back to that. God, he's coming back up. Fuck. Oh, why? Oh, glad I built this thing. <laughs> it's just because I played these games way too many times. Yo, mice, can you shut the fuck up? Alright, did that thing, like, fuck off now? Looks like he did. Alright, so where is this... ...thing? <laughs> Need a piece of glass. Oh, I didn't go over this way yet. What's this? Storage. Glass has got to be here, I guess. Jar or some shit, maybe. What? Hello? Help you? Help you what? There's somebody here. My god, why is this thing so bad? Yeah, let's just stop and read them. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brandenburg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, what? the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenburg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. Is he safe? Well, it's for his own good. Put that 
that do? for hiding spot if I need it. Nothing. Man, there's no... Okay. Alright, chill out. They're not following us for some reason. Torches the light. <laughs> oh, that was stupid. Just one letter or anything. Whatever. Place that one. Stop with that shit! Christ. I believe this. Why? I mean, why? What did I do to deserve this? I mean, it can't be. What is it, a mummy? Do I deserve this? It's it your wasn't mummy. My fault. Why did he have to go in there? Don't go into burning houses. He should have known better. I seriously have no fucking clue where I'm at right now. When I had to run from that guy that really disoriented my sense of direction. I have no fucking idea where I'm at. Oh, uh, all right. Well, we just want to circle here. Help her! Find a way. What am I looking for, goddammit? I have no idea. This is why I don't like this part. I have no clue what I'm looking for right now. 
4th of August, 1839. The nightmares woke me in the early morning, and for a moment I forgot where I was. Shortly after, there was a knock on my door. Alexander had heard my screams and asked me to join him in the parlor. As we drank our tea, Alexander began to tell me what he knew. It seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. It's not only a powerful item, but a dangerous one. Simply by touching it, you invoke the powers within, and if you are too weak to control it, it will devour you. The shadow is a sluggish thing, lagging behind the wielder, killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the orb. I said I didn't care about its powers and that I should throw it away. Alexander advised against this as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb and eventually suffer death. Having the orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me. And he answered that things can be done, but at a price. Tell me anything really on what I need to do. Stay there, don't move. Oh, is he alive? Oh, he's alive. That guy. No, take him. What are you doing? Don't hit me. I didn't do anything to you. This is me off. It's fresh meat, just like me. Can you put fucking turn in place? Kitchen, that's where I came from. Dude, I, I'd love to know what I'm looking for. Like, I have no idea what it is I, I theoretically need. It's, fuck, I just went in a circle again. Kitchen's that way. I know the kitchen's this way. Then the kitchen's storage is that way. Okay. Kitchen. Oh, I need to get. This. See, I was here. I don't. See, I don't know what item I'm missing. Oh, that's where I came from. I came from that fucking thing there. I can't go in here. Dead end. I'm looking. You're looking for some. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. I never would have guessed I was looking for something. Oh, that's right. I'm looking for a glass jar sticking there. I had no idea where that is. That's what I'm missing. Fucking jar. Um, I don't know where to go. Like, I'm guessing I need the acid to get the eat away at the lock. That would make sense on the on the one grating, right? But the question is, though, is what can I pick it up with? Well, he chased me out of here. I was coming in here. You chase me out. It's not glass. 
oil, tender. Nothing in here either. Fuck. Um, I don't know. What am I missing? I'm missing something. I don't. I just don't know what the fuck it is I'm missing though. Oh, that's right. I didn't go this way. I don't think. It's down here. Storage. Maybe I did go that way. So here's a padlock. I, I think we got to get the uh, acid to eat this fucking thing off. Or at least on one of them. Oh, there it is. There it is. All right, let's do this. What the fuck? Game, please. You thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um. Which way is the door open? Opens out. So that ain't gonna help me very much. Um. All right, let's build something here in case something happens after I pick up the shit. Uh, after I pick up that jar. Oh, don't knock the barrel over, please. Alright, that should be good, I think. Just in case. Alright. Grab it! No. Alright, so did that for nothing. Alright. <laughs> good to know. Okay, so now we gotta get back to the acid room. in case stand on there for me of course not Nice hiding spot. Where's he at? Fuck off. Nice, we did. Alright, I guess he did. Alright, good. He survived another day. Um. Now, the question is how do I get back to that other spot where I was with the acid shit? Going, yeah. Oh. Whatever it takes. Game froze for a second. Shit! How do I get back, man? Uh, now I need to get back there. I can't. Stop with that fucking thing. Or 
condition. So I can get the acid. Can't I find this now? Is that it? No, god damn it. Dude, it wasn't downstairs, right? This is like completely the wrong way, am I not mistaken? Oh, I was going the right way. Okay, never mind. I don't remember going down stairs. Alright, whatever. Is what I use it on. So I guess I gotta use it on all the locks, right? I don't know if I want to do that, because there's other rooms that I wasn't in. I think I'm going to let them kill me. I want to go back and check those other rooms. Ah, 
Ah, you missed. Suck a dick. That hurt. That's going to leave a mark. Oh. Well, shit. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh, he's just going to kill me anyway. It doesn't really matter. Can't really run. Alright, so let's try, because there's three, there's, there's a total of three gates, and they each got a lock on it. So I want to try, um, there's one specific gate I like to use it on. What the fuck am I at? Oh, why'd it put me over here? This is safe for me here. Not anymore. Okay. Why are there so many torches lit here now? Oh, there's the gate open. Alright. So I can leave anytime I want. But, let's go down. I don't remember where down is, though. Oh, not that way. Not that way. Here. And then up. Let's get the acid again. talking about oh, I can't I only use that fucking thing once well, that's stupid oh might as well just like oh, that's gay bad word to use don't mean it in a literal sense just dumb it again. I don't understand. Yeah, well, I, mean, I gotta go through the door then. I have no choice. It's the only thing I can do. Quite unfortunate, Scott. <laughs> it's like, I guess you're meant to um, open those other gratings before you open the one I opened. Which, it's kind of lame, but whatever. I really didn't know that that led to the exit. Or I wouldn't have opened that one.
So you used the drain sewers as a means of transport? Yes, they were built to divert water from an underground spring and are quite spacious. It seemed only natural to incorporate it into the overall structure. But we won't be using it. Not today. The flow is seasonal, and when the spring runs dry, the damp tunnels produce a rather poisonous type of fungi. There is an antidote, of course, but we won't be bothering with it today. Come, this way instead. We're almost there. There's an, an, an antidote. Now we gotta get the water's too deep to traverse. Okay. We gotta lower the water. That's just pure gas. I picked up the last jar of oil. Alright. Put it here. Um, well, I can't do anything, so the lever is stuck. It needs to be oh, grease. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, I just figured I already did it enough times. <laughs> Third time was a charm. I never did check the door over there. I'm assuming I can't get out through that door, so.
obviously for something. I would think. Another one? Uh, let's just throw it on here. Alright, these ones move. Uh, okay, hold on. Face of the machine. The one out there is to the, right below the bar. That one's all the way up. That's the lowest one. Probably got a match on this side, I'm guessing. They're in the same spot. Okay. Grab it, please. Puzzle genius. Easy peasy. Not sure what it did, but easy peasy. <laughs> I thought I was all cool and shit. Well, yeah, beat the game kind of thing, and no. But I could do this. Oh, uh -huh. what do you think of that? I win. Well, I should probably kill me now. Probably a monster gonna get through there. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Uh, levers. Eeny, meeny, money. Eeny, meeny, money, mo. Big room for absolutely nothing. For the most part. Oh, it says a wooden crank. figure out what they're for. Oh, you just gotta copy this on the other side again? Probably. There's another one of these. Where'd I throw the other ones at? It's too odd that they're laying around. They gotta be used for something. I put into the machine is unequaled by the reasoning of a man. I thought that generations of men have passed away since I first attempted to construct this tiring locations of the world and made my work incredibly difficult. It's forced me to build the thing to almost a hundred times larger than the dedicated contraption it tries to emulate. Not to mention the flow of tame lightning crudely placed by pressured steam pushing its way through pipes and turbines. It cheers me shames me to think that, uh, to think of what the, men, the events are able. What have thought of my monster, where he works with my magnifying glass to carefully fix all the parts. I push five men to erect a tower of wrought iron, oh, well, even the tiniest hint, uh, of the power found in the traveler's locket. It's like a turbine or a hydraulic. Both. Alright, 
so I just gotta mash this on the other side again, I guess. They want there's no nails back here. Puzzles in this game are I win. <laughs> Daniel, is that you? What are you doing? I'm winning the game, that's what I'm doing. stuck on. Alright, so we gotta match sides. How can we do that? I don't have all those pieces, do I? Alright, so we do need these things. Automatically go in position because I don't want to sit there and try and fuck around with these things out there. That matching that? No. However, I think we're one short. I don't recall seeing another one. something outside here with the uh thingy. No. Oh. Seems things were here.
Well, I guess we gotta go this way. I'm going to be stopping very shortly. Almost dinner time for me. Uh, this, this brings back some memories. From the spring. Yes, it enables me to control the water in the drain sewers to some extent. Also, it can be used for all sorts of purposes. Like the drinking? Yeah, well, that too. But mostly to run different machines. Ah, like the water mill. Exactly. I'm guessing there's death in the water. That jump, dude. Oh, all right. Can I get back up. What? Why can't I get the fuck up? I mean, it's time I gotta run back through the water now. It's retarded. Make any more possible noise to draw attention to ourselves, that'd be great. I don't know how to get back up. You will not make these stupid little jumps. Really? Be something else that makes it go down. Switch somewhere, I'm guessing. Um, Alright, so I went up there. I already went over that side and did there, so I gotta do it over here. What? Now 
don't give you a lot of time. Hesitate, you're hitting that shit. was on the right path. Using my orb, Alexander managed to channel its power unto us. The inner sanctum flared with blue, fiery light, and I could feel the same things I felt in the dark chamber in Algeria. It was like standing in a mad whirlpool of impressions. It was terrifying, but Alexander kept calm and wielded strange tools of science in order to tame the storm. Suddenly, the blue light was stained by strains of red, and the walls burst with pulsating tissue resonating with the scene. Pulsating Alexander pectorals. quickly covered the orb in some cloth, and the unspeakable thing vanished. Apparently, the orb's shadow is closer than Alexander thought. He said I should prepare for a warding ritual tomorrow. I'm not sure what he expects, but I have a bad feeling about this. Right there, Han Solo. Oh, let's drain it. that for? Uh. Oh, hold on. Rocks here. Maybe. No way is this gonna work. Okay. <laughs> I didn't really didn't think that was gonna work. It is still early, and Alexander is busy preparing for the ritual later today. Seeing him this worked up makes me question why. What does he stand to gain? I realize he is curious about it all, but surely there must be more. Is he so foolish he will attempt to tame the power of the orb? I must admit that yesterday, when Alexander flooded the inner sanctum with blue light, I realized we had but graced the orb's true potential. This might turn out to be more than escaping a creeping shadow. It might be the beginning of something truly extraordinary. Alrighty. That's all I gotta do in here or not. Am I done in here? 
guessing so since I got an achievement. Let's leave. Uh, so if we reverse the water, we probably should be able to go down that other side now, which was flooded, I would think. Right? Down here. I didn't realize that was gonna happen. God damn it. Fuck, what a way to waste my health. God damn it. I didn't realize that fall was gonna do that. Yeah, there's no water in here now. <coughs> Whoa! Okay, still can't go that way. Poison. Fill this back up again. That's for the hell of it. Fill the water. Nope. Nope. All right. So I guess I gotta get figure out how to get into that other door up there. Say again. Bridge stuck, and we'll need a push to dislodge. Push. Let's go back up. Yeah, apparently they're too heavy to throw up there. Alright, uh, let's try this. Get it up here? Alright, get it up there. Soon this has got to work. Daniel, it has yielded. What? The shadow. It has? For now. Come, let's get this out of here so we can get some peace. Yes, let's. Where to? Just down the corridor, to the morgue. Are there more dead men there? You did well, Daniel. Come, let's get going. Fear for Daniel, for he is reckless. He is tainted by appro the approaching shadow and will not be able to pass the gate. Will he be able to accept this in the end? My love, I've seen evil in him. How am I to trust him with the truth? What cruel irony that I have to, to undo him with 
Agrippa <laughs> did unto me. God damn it. Alright, looks like we're going to save it up here, guys. Uh, save. Are you sure you wish 